What's going on everybody? It's Richard Koberger here, the Blue Collar Nerd. Well, Titan Score has gotten a major upgrade. As of today, January 20th of 2021, Titan Score is now Titan Advisor. So in the upper right hand corner of Service Titan, you should now see this rocket icon. And clicking on that will launch you into Titan Advisor. Now the first time you launch it, it's gonna walk you through and show you some of the new things that Titan Advisor is capable of. You're also going to run into a screen where it asks you to rank your business goals by dragging and dropping. Don't overthink that too much. That's going to factor into what its top recommendations are for you, but nothing's going to be hidden from you no matter what. And you can edit these preferences later if you want to. Once you're done with all that, you will launch into the overview screen of Titan Advisor. So at the top of the overview screen, you'll see this segmented progress bar with a rocket icon somewhere on the bar to indicate where you are. So the stages are broken up into prepare to launch, launch, acceleration, optimization, and mastery. And just underneath that, you'll see Titan Advisor's top recommendations for your business. Over on the right, you'll see your Titan score. So that number that is still called your Titan score. So that's your Titan score. And all of this, this whole platform is Titan Advisor. And right underneath your Titan score, you will see how your score compares to other companies like you. So Titan Advisor looks at other companies who have about the same number of managed techs as you and do the same trades and do about the same ratio of residential to commercial work and tells you how you stack up against those other companies. And it does that by telling you what percentile you're in. And for my fellow C math students out there, higher is better with percentiles. So if you're in the 90th percentile, that means your score is higher than 90% of other companies like you. Under that, you'll see a graph that plots the change in your Titan score over time. And under that, you will see how close you are to moving out of the current stage that you're in and what you need to do to move on to the next stage. And then over on the left is the navigation menu where you can dig into specific areas of the product and see where you can improve. And under each category, you will see different tabs for launch, acceleration, optimization, and mastery. Now what's cool about Titan Advisor is that it is not one size fits all. It is custom fit for your company. That's because Titan Advisor knows knows the size of your company, it knows what kind of work you do, it knows how much residential work versus commercial work you do, and it knows your business goals based on what you told it, and it's able to take all of that into account when making recommendations. Another great advantage is that with Titan Advisor, your Titan score will no longer go down after an update like it did with the old Titan score. That's because the old Titan score was always based on a maximum score of 100. So every time an update came out and released new features, that means there were new features that you weren't using because they were brand new. And so it would drop your Titan score down. But now with Titan Advisor, the Titan score is not out of 100, nor is it static, it's dynamic. So every time new updates come out, the maximum possible score increases, but your score stays the same. So let's say your score was 170 and the maximum possible score achievable for your business was 300. Well, when a new update comes out, your score will stay 170, but the maximum achievable score for your company will go up, let's say to 330. Also, the maximum achievable score is specific to your company. It depends what you have available to you. That means if you're not using a certain pro product, like let's say you're not using Pricebook Pro, well, the points that you could potentially get for Pricebook Pro aren't on your total maximum score. However, if you ever did decide to sign up for Pricebook Pro, then your maximum achievable score would go up because now you have those new features available to you. And to clarify, you will see pro product features in Titan Advisor, whether you've purchased them or not. They just won't affect your total maximum achievable score until you do have access to them. Now, if you're curious what your company's maximum score is on the overview page on that progress bar, hover over the mastery section all the way to the far right, and then you will see your total possible points. Now, because updates will no longer drop your Titan score, that means that when your Titan score does drop, that is much more meaningful because that now indicates that something that Titan Advisor monitors has stopped happening. Maybe certain reporting metrics aren't being looked at as often as they should, or maybe your technicians have stopped offering options on their jobs. And on the overview screen, if you click that little arrow next to your Titan score, you can see an audit trail of exactly what made your score go up or down. That makes this a really good pulse check for what is happening within your business because Titan Advisor watches everything. And when something's not happening the way it should, it will tell you about it. 
Another thing that Titan Advisor does better than the old Titan score is Titan Advisor does a better job at telling you exactly what you need to do. So clicking on any feature will tell you about that feature, tell you what it is and why it's useful. Oftentimes there will be an animated GIF to kind of demonstrate that feature to you visually, and it will tell you how to use that feature and link you to the knowledge base if you need more information. It's also much more transparent about how it's scoring you. It really breaks down how it's coming up with its numbers and you can earn partial points. So certain bigger tasks will have maybe five possible points that you could earn for completing it all the way, but if you're doing it okay, but just not totally, you can earn, let's say, three out of the five points and get some credit for what you are doing. Another feature it has that I really love is the ability to snooze or hide recommendations. So on your overview screen, any of those recommendations that Titan Advisor is giving you, if let's say there's one that you plan on doing but just not anytime super immediately, you can click on that three dot kebab menu and choose to snooze it for 30 days. So it'll be out of your sight for 30 days and then it will come back to remind you. And if it's showing you an optional feature that you don't plan on ever using, you can just hide it entirely. Now just FYI, something good to know, the Titan score updates on a daily basis overnight. So if you did something today to improve your score, you should expect to see those results by tomorrow. Titan Advisor is a really powerful tool to give you insights into not only your company's utilization of Service Titan, but into your company as a whole. Because not only will Titan Advisor tell you about features that maybe you didn't even know about, but from a manager's perspective, it will also give you very solid clues as to who might need a little bit more training, who might be slacking a little bit on the job. It'll tell you a lot about things that maybe you thought were getting done that weren't. Now, because there are so many insights here, the risk is that you get overwhelmed and you burn yourself out. So my recommendation is this. First, pick somebody in your company who will be over the project of improving your Titan score. And I would pick somebody with some authority in your company, somebody maybe people are a little bit afraid of because they're gonna have to stick their nose into different departments and say, hey, it looks like we're not doing this and we need to start. Or hey, it looks like we're sorta of kinda of doing this, but here's some ways that we can improve. Next, I recommend taking it slow and breaking it up into chunks. Focus first on the things that are recommended to you on your overview page. And be sure to utilize those snooze and hide features just so there aren't things in your face that you don't plan on doing anything about. And if you've got everything planned out to tackle the recommendations on your overview page and you wanna do a little bit more exploring to find some additional things you can improve on, go ahead, but just be careful. Don't burn yourself out. It's a marathon here, not a sprint. And if you open Titan Advisor for the first time and find that you've been on Service Titan for years, but yet you're in the launch phase or something like that, don't feel discouraged. Nobody is in mastery or optimization yet. Also, don't worry. The Titan Score leaderboard contest is still going to be happening. You cutthroat competitive beasts. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Be sure to hit like if you liked this video and got some value out of it. Be sure to subscribe to Service Titan's YouTube channel if you've not done that already. Hit that bell icon so that YouTube notifies you anytime we upload a new video. Also, leave me a comment down below. What do you guys think about the new Titan Advisor? Appreciate it. Peace.